Now you're going to add your procedures to your lab report. So at this point, by the time you're writing your lab report, you already have your procedures written. Um, so the point here is to just add them to the document. However, while we're at it, I'm just gonna go ahead and go over some specifics on what you should have already incorporated into your procedures. Okay, so I'll start by adding um, the materials, which for my lab reports, I want to see those under the heading of experimental procedures. So uh, materials is a complete list of everything that someone would need to recreate your experiment. Remember, the purpose of putting these procedures here are so that if anyone wanted to um, replicate your experiment, which is a requirement of good science experiment, is the ability to replicate. Um, this, this is put, put here so that they could do that. Um, so I add, I want you to add your materials at the top. I also want you to include a list of variables. Um, so this isn't something that I've seen in a lot of lab reports, but it's, it's helpful for me as your teacher to, for me to understand what's going on in your experiment. So just add them under a, a subheading. And then you can actually add your procedures, which if you wrote them correctly, um, they do a couple of things. Number one, they are specific enough to be reproduced. Um, and number two, they reduce the amount of error um, that you could see. So I'm going to paste in some experiments and talk about them a little bit before we move on. Um, so obviously, um, it's just each step telling the uh, experimenter exactly what they would need to do to run this experiment. Um, I've highlighted a few things here showing how I am explicitly putting information in here um, to, excuse me, what is this doing here? Um, to highlight that I'm minimizing sources of error. So right here, after the subject blind, is blindfolded, I wave a hand in front of their face to make sure that they can't see. Um, so this may not seem like an important step, but it's actually trying to reduce the chance that we're going to have some other variable besides our independent variable, which could affect the dependent variable. Um, so if I saw this in a student's lab report, I would, be, I would think, okay, they're making an attempt to minimize sources of error. Um, there's another point down here later in the experiment where um, after the three minutes um, you take the crystal back from the subject and then you put it out of sight. Um, so this is an important detail to add to make sure that you know the subject doesn't see the crystal and then that could possibly affect um, the results of my experiment. So when I go through your you know procedures I'm not just looking to see if you have some steps numbered I'm looking to see if you have a deliberate attempt to add enough specifics so that you are um, eliminating sources of error and that you know I could go and run this experiment if I wanted to exactly the same way that you did. Um, so as long as you are doing that um, then you should be go good to go for your procedures.